Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I'm being led to use the little coin jar today, okay? And um, these are going to be your oracles for your reading, okay? Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, right? Collective readings, they can be for any sign and they're not going to resonate with all of you, okay? But that's all right. Um, just don't try to squeeze it and squish it into your life, okay? Don't try to force it. And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. Thank you to all of my subscribers. Welcome to everyone new here. Let's get your oracles out, okay? Ooh, what do we have here? Love me. Okay. I feel like there's a masculine energy or uh, it could be it could be feminine. They could be in their feminine energy feeling kind of emotional. I feel like, though, there's some kind of excitement because they're taking this leap of faith and they feel happy about it. OK, um, I feel like they want you to love them the way that they did before. This person wants to be 10 toes down for you. They want to be solid. Yeah, look, they're escaping a karmic situation all right so this person is leaving someone behind definitely a karmic okay with the dragon out here um they're leaving a karmic individual behind and they're coming in uh they're coming towards you they want you um to love them the way they did before they want to be solid for you grounded stable okay this this person's ready um yeah, look, there's a there's a a person standing here making a decision. They know what it is that they want. There's two trees and someone standing right in the middle of them. You guys, I'm telling you. Um, I feel like this person they they are coming in fairly emotional, but it's like a happy emotion. Okay. Um, they they're very yep, and that was a confirmation. My phone just went off. They're very anxious. They're very excited. They're very enthusiastic. This person just feels happy to be free from something, and they're making a decision. They're choosing a new path. I don't even know what this one is. What is this? A picture of jeez. Oh. Okay, this is like, it looks like a picture of like Noah's Ark or something on it. Um, a big ship, right? They may have had some kind of blockages or um, this could be something that they need to prove themselves for, okay? I'm just getting, I'm picking up on that energy where they, they have to get over a hurdle first and I feel like that's proving themselves to you. Um, this is going to happen this winter, I feel. This person may also need to travel to get to you. I'm also seeing that this is a soulmate connection. They may need to travel a across a body of water. Um, yeah, and I feel like they're being led by their ancestors here. This is effigies. They may be um, feeling very grateful right now. Somebody's feeling gr very grateful. Put yourself where you have to. Reverse the roles if you have to in this, okay? Take it how it resonates with you. Yeah, but this is a soulmate connection. This person's been watching you from a distance. They're watching you drink from this lake. I feel like they've been watching you um, getting your blessings rolling in. They've been watching you being abundant. You could even be in the public eye, have some kind of spiritual platform, okay, where you're, um, you're out there giving some spiritual messages. And the, I feel like you help to wake this person up to what's been going on in their life um, with the choices they've made in a toxic situation. They are feeling so dang free right now. <laughs> Or someone is, and they're happy. Oh, they feel so good to be out of that situation. They're really excited about coming towards you. And I feel like um, they just know that, they know that you're the one for that. Look, on the bottom of the deck, we got the Knight of Cups energy. This person feels good. Um, and they're coming in with, look, they want to get back together. They're coming in with, I'm just leaving it like this. They're coming in with this couple love, this love offer. Okay. Um, I feel like you're protecting yourself right now. 
Um, because you have gone through a lot. And right now you're really just focused. This may not be a good time for this person to come in for you because um, you're protecting everything that you've created. You may not trust this person. You may think, be thinking to yourself, why now? Why are they coming back in now, right? Is it because I'm abundant? Is it because they want me to share my abundance? Because I'm not going to do that. You know, um, you could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could also be um, a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I hope you guys can see this. I'll put this down. Sorry about that. I just want you to have a clear view of what's going on here. Um, but yeah, this, this is a masculine coming back in. They're taking action. They're choosing a path. That's what... Um, that's what this is. If you guys can see this coin, it's got two trees with a person standing right in the middle of it. That's what this is. It's the exact same thing. So I'm telling you, this person is choosing a path. They're making a new choice for their life. Can you see? It's literally the exact same picture. Okay? <laughs> and they want their wish fulfillment. Now here's the thing. The, the thing that they need in order to get their wish fulfillment is your cup of love, okay? You had love for them at one point, and this person betrayed you for that. They stabbed you in the back. You loved them. You had a good heart for them. You gave them the best love they're ever going to find, and they stuck a sword in your back for it. Now they want to come back in, and they want you to love them the way you did before. I'm... I, kid you not you could be dealing with a leo aries sagittarius maybe a cancer pisces scorpio yeah but this person's making a judgment call i feel like they're deciding they're making a decision of what they want to do who they want to be with um how they want to live their future right they see you as somebody that they can build with you're the true treasure in the deck you're you were the hidden gem this person could have maybe um, underestimated you at one point, right? But you flipped on them into an empress, um, building something successful for yourself, saving your money, working really hard. Um, I feel like your money's growing, your money's looking really good, and that's why you're in defense mode, you know? Um, I, I feel like you don't... You'd like to have somebody who who is going to be working with you as a partner, um, building something solid with you, building more success for you, right, or with you. But you're not going to just allow just anybody to come back in and help you with the whatever project you've got going on. Um, it could just be planning your future. It could be um, saving your money, you know, adding to your savings. You, you don't think you can trust this person. I feel like they played you in the past. They could have had um, other options. All right. I'm also getting that you're going to have a chance to speak your truth with this person. You know, but yeah, you're you don't trust them anymore. Um, and they're going to really have to prove themselves. Yeah, because you're out here having this victory. You could be a cancer. And you may see this person as a fool, or they feel absolutely foolish. They feel like a, they feel like a, a complete fool. I'm just going to say it like that. I don't want to insult anybody, but yeah. Um, they made some impulsive decisions in the past, could have juggled you with somebody else. Um, if you're a Cancer, they could have juggled you with a Gemini, maybe. You know, they left you behind because they underestimated you. This is the most underestimated person in the deck. And you flipped on this person into the Empress, okay? This person could have, they could have, I just heard crazy. They could have called you crazy for whatever project you were starting. They could have thought that you were, didn't have enough. You weren't flashy enough or you didn't have a fancy enough job or you didn't wear fancy enough clothes. But look at you now. You've gone through a total transformation, okay, in several areas of your life, and you've been divinely guided to do that. You've listened to the messages, 
and you followed your, the divine's lead and it brought you to all of this abundance. And if this person thought that your idea was crazy in the beginning and it wouldn't be a success, man, I'm telling you, you're reaping the rewards of all of your hard work. All of the seeds that you planted in the past, they're paying off for you now. And that's why you're having this victory out here. You've also been put through a battle um, with this person. You know, you've been dragged, you could have had your reputation dragged through the mud. Um, you were definitely betrayed. And now you've healed and you're moving forward in this victory, in this um, empress, very abundant energy. Okay. And this person may feel like a, <laughs> uh, you know, they may feel like a fool. Okay. They are definitely seeing that um, they made a foolish decision choosing someone else over you or other options over you. They can see now they were, they were a fool for um, underestimating you. They know that if you speak your truth, okay, th this sword here in your hand I'm seeing is this. If you speak your truth, and defend yourself and reject this person, it's going to be the Ten of Swords for them. Like they know they've got a good chance of being uh, rejected um, because I feel like they chose like a Queen of Wands over you. I got to say. They chose someone over you who may have betrayed them. So this person could have been betrayed the same way they betrayed you because the Queen of Wands, she just kind of goes after whatever she wants. You know, she's really not about a commitment. She um, she wants to have fun. She wants to go. Um, she wants to grab onto whatever opportunity looks good for her. And I feel like she may have um, cheated on this person. Yeah. Look, I, I'm. I, I feel like this Queen of Wands <laughs> really tired this person out. Okay, maybe they couldn't keep up with her. It could have been, um, it could have been possibly like a very passionate uh, situation that they were in. Okay, and I feel like this person is tired. They feel pretty beat down. They're low on energy. Um, they know they need to confront this other person here and break free. Or I feel like that's how they were. Now they're breaking free. Okay, because they are feeling so good to be out of that situation. Yeah, and they don't want to talk to this Queen of Wands anymore. This person now, their attention is turned towards you, right? They're all emotional over you. And I, I do, I am getting this. I When I say all emotional too, I get a smile on my face like, they're very emotional inside. They want to confess how they feel about you. They don't want to be rejected by you. They're really excited about coming in. They are. I'm feeling this excited, enthusiastic energy. They are feeling pretty dumb for walking away from you. I will say that. I will say that because now they see you as their happiness. They're only passionate about you and they're about to take action. I'm telling you, they're about to communicate with you. Yep, they want to change things around right at the tail end of this last cycle. Man, I'm telling you. I don't know how you feel about it, though. You may actually reject this person because you don't trust them. You're not going to understand why they're coming back in now that um, your money's right. You know, you're very abundant. You're successful. You're having a victory. Is all they saw in the first place is bling? This person was, I feel like they were very materialistic. I feel like they want, they were easily tempted by this Queen of Wands energy. And they, they thought, um, they thought that that was where it was at. You know, this Queen of Wands, she can be pretty flashy, very attractive, you know, but now I'm telling you, they want you, they want to come back around and this person may want to travel to get to you. I'm kind of seeing this Wheel of Fortune, though. Um, I'm seeing it sort of as a, do as a door that's closed. The Hierophant coming out with the Ace of Pentacles, and you're about to get some new opportunity, or this is just an opportunity. 
an opportunity for you to get your justice, speak your truth. And there's a possibility that, um, you know, with the wheel of fortune, anything can happen. With the Ace of Pentacles, it's just an open door. I'm seeing it as an open door, a big opportunity for you. So you could end up taking this person back or walking away. Okay? I feel like there's this King of Pentacles. This is who you've been thinking about, or they're thinking about you nonstop. Okay? That's coming back in. It could be a, it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, maybe a Gemini. Yeah. They're also getting tarot card readings. Um, and the reader is telling them that you were the blessing. You were the Holy Grail cup of love. You know, um, you could be this person's twin flame soulmate connection. And they're realizing that too. They're finding out about tarot. They're finding out about the twin flame soulmates. And this person, now they don't want to let you go. So they're watching tarot about you. They're learning about this soulmate connection. They may want this new beginning. I feel like you, something about you um, has awakened this person. Okay. Yeah. See, they're seeing the truth now. I feel like um, King of Swords energy, though, this person, maybe they had a huge ego. You know, um, I always see this person as being kind of like, like they cut out their blessing and they're realizing what they've done. They mistreated you. They were very cold. They were very harsh. They took this sword and they put it in your back for loving them. They're being shown. Either, um, and I'm seeing the Hierophant and the High Priestess out here. This person is being shown um, hidden knowledge about this connection, right? Um, I feel like they're bossing up into an emperor. They're realizing they're a divine masculine. You're a divine feminine. They're putting the pieces together. Spiritual messages, a lot of spiritual messages for this person. And, yeah, and now they don't want to let you go. I, I feel like this person also knows um, they're never going to be able to get over you. Okay? They're, if they don't take their chance and take this risk and come in and communicate and tell you how they feel, um, they're never going to be able to let you go. Uh, I don't know what else to say. They're, they know that they'll be pining over you until they're old and gray. Okay? They're always going to have you on their mind. I feel like it kind of drives this person sort of batty. Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo. We've got heavy Virgo energy in this reading. This person could be a, any sign, really. Um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You guys, they could be could be any sign. Yeah, I'm getting the sense that they're going through a major transformation. Yeah, this person, they don't know how they're going to ever forget about you. If this comes to an end... They don't know how they're going to ever forget about you, uh, how they're ever going to get over this. Yeah, they'll always be burdened. Yes, and that's, that's something that they're realizing here. And they're finding that out through tarot readings as well. Whatever they're hearing through tarot or the messages they're getting from the divine, it's leaving this person like... Um, they are, they, they're kind of on shutdown mode. They don't want to talk to anyone. They're not returning anybody's phone calls. They're kind of just um, handling this internally. They know they're going to be burdened like forever. Um, thinking about you for the rest of their life and the one that got away. If you reject them or if they don't take this opportunity to come forward. Yeah, they're seeing everything from a new perspective. And they're seeing you as the star. They're seeing you as everything. 
And see, there's that cup of love. They need that cup in order to get their wish fulfillment, okay? I'm hearing, bring it back, bring it back. Don't take it away from me because you don't know what it means to me. Oh, yes, love of my life love of my life because right now that's um I, i'm sorry that song is um queen okay it's and it's called love of my life don't leave me blah 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 yeah see they're watching you they're spying on you this person knows man if you leave their life they're never gonna get over you yeah, they want you to bring that love back. They want you to love them in the way that you did before, okay? So get ready for this person to take action. They're coming in pretty enthusiastically, but with a fear. Their biggest fear, their biggest fear in their life right now, currently, is that you're going to reject them, okay? Which you may do. I, I feel like you're closing out a cycle, you're on your way, um, like you're walking clear off your spread here. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, Aquarius. But yeah, you are literally the light in this person's life. You just don't know that yet. You're about to find out. Anyway, collective, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates like and subscribe to the channel you guys join this awesome soul tribe and until next time everyone take care of you and peace out